When your Focus ST vents crankcase pressure as part of its normal operation, small amounts of oil vapor and condensation get pulled into the PCV system. The vapor and other residue flow back into the intake, coating your throttle body, intake manifold, and valves in gunk. The JLT 3.0 oil separator works by capturing oil vapors in its filtration media, which then form droplets that drop into the can's reservoir. The JLT oil separator cleanses your PCV system of contaminants to help keep your engine running at its absolute best. Begin by removing the engine cover along with the threaded tab that it sets in since we will need the clearance for removing the intake pipe. Now both set screws in the intake pipe can be removed along with the clamp that attaches to the filter outlet. And again, for a bit of extra clearance, we removed the vacuum line near the intake, then swung the intake tube off to the side. It is in a tight spot, but unplug the factory PCV hose from the rear side of the intake tube, then from the engine, along with unplugging the VPS sensor on the hose. Now that the hose is removed from the engine, we used a razor blade to trim off the longer half of the hose at the sensor connection and at the connector end in order to splice in the new hose with the catch can. A quick note, the 2013 and 2014 STs do not have this sensor and you can skip this step. You can see here the final product of our trimming and we will reuse the stock connectors and hose. Attach the now lone connector to the end of the new longer hose, then the sensor connection to the shorter supplied hose. We also chose to reuse the stock hose to give it some extra length just in case it is needed. Now the extended hoses can be installed on the can. The fittings in the can have barbed ends to hold the hoses in place, but the band clamps included can be used in addition for more holding strength on the fittings. Hopefully this description of the hose setup can get you through, but just in case here are some final shots of the can with the completed hoses for you to see how we set it up. Next attach the bracket to the top of the can in preparation to drop it in the car. You will see the tab on the passenger side firewall where we can attach the provided bolt clip. After unscrewing the can reservoir, we slid the can assembly into the engine bay and plugged in both of the connectors to the intake tube and engine. Now since the can changes the direction of the VPS sensor, we needed to extend the wire harness by removing it from the clip on the firewall and trimming it where it tees off from the brake booster sensor. Carefully use a razor blade and trim the main wire loom insulation to reach both the VPS and brake booster sensors. Once enough wire is available, plug in both sensors and rewrap the wires with electrical tape. The intake tube is ready to be reinstalled on the filter outlet, so connect it and bolt the intake tube back down along with plugging the vacuum line back in next to the intake. You can lastly bolt the can bracket to the clip installed earlier and thread on the reservoir to complete the catch can installation. Just insert the engine cover tab along with the cover itself. And remember to check your catch can and empty it as needed when it is full of used oil. 